Jesus Christ as I come before you, Lord God Almighty. Lord God, I worship, praise, magnify, and adore your holy name. I give you glory, honor, oh God, praise this day. Father, I call upon your kingdom. I act to my faith, your kingdom right now on earth. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I invite you, God, on this, oh God, bus, oh God, through the streets of Nassau. So, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, as I drive in to represent, Lord God, of course, right now, a spiritual, oh God, line and a spiritual drive through that we will make through this nation. Heavenly Father, I ask you, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will drive through your life by the power of your might. Oh God, we have to come to the Lord. We have to come to the Lord. We have to come to the I pray, Lord God of hosts, that you, oh God, will take stock. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, of what is happening in our land, in our nation, I ask you, Lord God, that you will have mercy on us, oh God, as a people, Father, in the name of Jesus Heavenly Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name that you will begin to do a work, O oh God, Heavenly Father, to uphold, O oh God, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that righteousness and mercy and justice would come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, by your power and by your might, I pray, Lord God of hosts, even as you send your angels, O oh God, throughout the length and the breadth, O oh God, of this nation, throughout the length and the breadth, O oh God, Heavenly Father, as they pass through, O oh God, but street upon street, O oh God, corner upon corner, house upon house. Father, you say it in your word that when you see the blood, you will pass over them. But Father, I call you in remembrance this day to the cross of Calvary, Heavenly Father, how you send your son Jesus Christ to die for our sins. And I ask you, Lord God, to have mercy upon us as a people, have mercy upon us as a land, as a country, O oh God, Heavenly Father. May we remember that you are our God, O oh Father. May we remember that you said that the arms of flesh will fail. Father, this day in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak peace over this land, peace over this nation. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you will strengthen, oh God, the hearts of the men and women, oh God. I pray, Lord God, this day that the gospel of Christ will become alive, oh God, in this land, that you will raise up new men and women of God who will stand according to your word, according to your might, according to your power. Father, I pray right now in Jesus name as I drive through I disperse every darkness of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ oh God I pray that warring angels will drive along through with me through the air and the atmosphere oh God and attack every dark area in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I come against every spirit of death oh God murder I bind every spirit oh God of destruction in the name of Jesus Christ and I begin to speak life peace oh God in Jesus name and acknowledgement of the Lord God of hosts. Father, I pray right now through the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will come forth, even touch our economy in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will work, oh God, in this land in Jesus' name. Hear the cry and the prayer, oh God, of the Bohemian people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, by your power, by your might, I pray this day. Father, I pray, oh God, never a father for homes and families. I cover, oh God, men and women, oh God, mothers and fathers in the blood of Jesus Christ, children. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you will bring provision. Oh God, never a Father, that you will provide for you, our provider, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are a God, oh Father, that love, oh God, to the uttermost. I pray, Lord God, that you will not leave us desolate, but you will prepare a way, oh God, as you did, oh God, for Israel, even in the wilderness, that we will be fed continually. Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray this day that your blessings will come forth, your mercy mercy, your grace, oh God, that you will load us with benefits, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray that we look unto you, Lord God, from whence come our help, Father, and not unto man, that we will trust in you, for you are God that never faileth, oh God, Heavenly Father, I pray this day in the name of Jesus Christ, even for our school children and enter our schools, oh God, our government schools, I cover them in the blood of Jesus, I speak safety over their life and I curse every work and plan of the enemy. I declare, O oh God, over our young people that they shall live and not die and shall declare the works of the Lord. I pray, Lord God, by your power and your might that you will bring revival to this land. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh God, that the murder count will continue to go down in this land, that we will not, O oh God, kill our brothers and our sisters. O oh 
Father, in Jesus' name, but that the love of God will begin to reign through us as a people, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, call this nation back to a place, oh God, like you did with Israel when we call a body upon your name and when we serve and trust in you, Lord God, by your power and by your might. Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for what you're doing and you're about to do, oh Lord God, in this land, in Jesus' name. I pray that souls will be saved, oh God, in Jesus' name right now, even among our youth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Father, I pray that you'll move even in our parliament and in our government. Oh God, for the good of this land, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let your will and will, will and purpose come forth, oh God, for this nation. In Jesus' name, may we not be consumed, oh heaven of Father, by foreign investors that do not know you. May we not be consumed as a people, but may we prosper in the land that you have placed us in this day, in every area, oh God, bless the economy, give new businesses and ideas. Yes, oh God, to the Bahamian people this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, especially the people of God that are serving you, oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank you right now, Lord God of hosts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. People of God, yes, I'd just like to say yes, you know, yes, I'm on the bus, I'm on what we call the Jitney here in the Bahamas, driving through, and as I drive through, I prayed for this land, prayed for this nation, and I prayed for you. I'd just like to say, people of God, continue to be strong in the Lord, continue to trust it. Remember that sometimes things are symbolic. When God allowed things in your life, just how he allowed me to drive on this bus, and he drives through with us, God is about to drive through your life and deal with touch situations, different points in your life he's going to make a stop and he's going to deal with every situation there's going to be a drive by that takes place in your house in your family in your home in your life on your job in your finances because remember just how god moved through the land of israel and he didn't move through the land of israel he did not miss a picture life just how he moved through the land of egypt and also he applied certain things but he protected his people remember god will protect you he will keep you he said that the wicked will be destroyed not his people even in the time of economic crisis it's the wicked who will feel the hardship god's people he will provide for he will bring you through every financial situation he will provide for your children god bless you this day amen